Hello there everybody and welcome back to another Terraria Modded Masterclass. In this lesson we are going to be covering trees and how you create them, how you can make them grow with the acorns and making the tile uh, or rather making the tile that we've made be the only way to grow this tree. That makes sense. So there are two classes that we are going to actually need. There's one optional class, which is this raw class. But uh, I'll cover that after. And we also need the tile that we're going to be using later. The first thing we're going to cover is the tree itself. So here, all we need to do is create a public class of our tree have extend mod tree this will require you to have terraria dot mod loader up here next you'll be overriding a few different uh methods first one is create dust and in this case we've just done return mod dot dust type and i've done the dust type we've had used in the past then if you're having the gore effect you're going to do public override int growth effects gore then return mod.git gore slot then you'll do the directory name then the class name so i've got it in a gores folder and it's called tmmc tree effects you can also make the tree drop wood by doing public override int drop wood and you return in the item type of the uh wood block in this case i've just done the default block that we've got but you can create any block you want and call it that then you've got these three uh overrides which handle the texture You've got the default texture which is the uh, tree trunk itself return mod.git texture then the directory and the name and public override textures 2d get top textures you're returning uh, the top texture of the tree so in this case return mod.git texture tiles again tmfc tree underscore tops and if I just open up these, I can show you them. It's going to take a bit. So here we have the uh, three uh, watches itself. So tree trunk itself then we've got the top of trees as you can see there's three variants most trees have well all the trees in vanilla have three different variants and same with uh trunks you have the left side and the right side and these can grow off the tree itself and to do the branches you do public override texture 2d get branch textures and you return in mods.git texture tiles dmmc tree branches next let's go to our sapling as you can see there's quite a bit more and i'll try and cover this as much as possible so it's a tile so create a public class of your tree sapling it extends mod tile in the override set defaults you want to set it to frame important equals to true because we are handling trees in a different way than we normally do as you can see a normal tile looks like this and with frame important uh it doesn't handle the drawing of the tile like it normally would 
main dot tile no attach uh equals true this tile doesn't attach to stuff uh main dot lava def type equals true i believe i've covered this in the past means it's destroyed by lava then we got this tile object data which is obtained from this terraria dot object data session you also want uh enums data structures and id so the first thing we're doing is tile object dot new tile dot width equals one as the sapling is only one tile wide tile object data dot new tile height equals two as it is too high let me open up the sapling just to show you as you can see it's one wide two tall and we have three different frames we can File object data dot new tile dot origin equals new point sixteen, which I believe is from the Microsoft dot XNA dot framework uh thing got the name of it. And we're doing zero one, so we're getting the bottom left corner. This corner up here is zero 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 one one zero one one tile object data dot new tile dot anchor bottom equals new anchor data then we're anchoring it to a solid tile of the width and then the uh star is just equal to zero tile object dot new tile uses custom can place it's true this is so we are only placing under circum certain circumstances new tile coordinate heights equals a new uh, array of 16 and 18 coordinate width equals 16 and coordinate padding equals 2 Here we are anchoring valid tiles to our uh, block tile that we got. So mods dot tile type TMMC tile. If you have like your own grass tile, you do. Let's say it's called new grass. You just call this new grass. And that'll be the anchor tile it chooses. Tile object data dot new tile dot style horizontal equals true. Uh, most of the time when you're working with frames, it's vertical. So in this case, it is horizontal. Instead, these would normally be, be placed on top of the other. So zero, one, two. Tile object data dot new tile draw flip horizontal. This means we can actually flip the tile texture itself. And tile object data dot new tile water placement equals liquid placement dot not allowed. And this makes it so you cannot place water on top of this tile. I believe you can still place it at the tile level. Uh, lava def, we just said it's a main tile lava def. Random style range equals three because there are three. I close this again. As you can see, this is zero, one, two, but there are three altogether. Uh, sapling. Then we do tile object data to add type. Because all this stuff is involved in this type, so we just add it there then we set sapling equal to true and then you can handle the normal stuff but you need add tiles or this either adjacent or adjust tiles equals new interray and then it's a tile id of saplings there are two methods that 
uh, we override. The first one handles the growth of the tree, which is random update. In this, we do if world gen dot gen random dot next is equal to, is twenty is equal to zero. So if there's a if this chooses a random number between zero and nineteen, and the value is equal to zero, then we do is player near equals world gen dot player line of sight. And we also do success equals world gen dot grow tree. And if both are set to true, then we do world gen dot tree growth effects check i and j. So this will show the gore effect when you're near it. I believe it will grow anyway with uh, this if it is successful. So if you're not on screen, you won't see the effects. At least I believe that's the case. Then you got public override set sprite effects i j sprite effects sprite effects. In this case, if i mod two is equal to one, uh, we do sprite effects equals sprite effects dot flip horizontally. What i mod two does is it gets whether it's odd or even. So if a value is let's say forty five, if we mod that by two that is equal to one because it's the remainder if you the remainder from dividing it i believe so odd numbers equals one even numbers equals two equals zero say i might have got that the wrong way around but it should be fine those are the two main things for the tree next we have the gore effects so in this case, we've got public class TMMC tree effects, which takes in mod gore. Again, this is in the Terraria.mod loader. And this we're just overriding on spawn. Then we're doing gore.velocity equals a new vector 2, and we're choosing a random value, then minus in 0.5, and another random flow value, which we multiply by 2 pi, which is uh, 6.283. There are eight frames in this gore tile. Let me show you, or gore effect. This is very basic. This is from the example mod that uh, the mod loader has. Uh, Gore.frame equals a, a byte of main.random next of eight. That is eight frames. This we get frame zero to seven and then go frame counter equals uh by main dot van dot next it's the same as this a value between one and nine and then our update type is equal to 910 which is how the tree gore is handled so with that let's make it so a tile can grow a tree so first thing we do is set mod tree equal to a new then our tree class so you'll need to inherit nothing because if you've got it in this it'll be fine never mind so you just in set mod tree new your tree class and then down here do public override sampling growth type Style equals zero, and then we have a turn in mod dot tile type, and then our tree sapling class. So let's open up Terraria, uh, and you can see it in action. Okay, so here we are in the world. Lower that. As you can see over here. I can't actually climb that high. If we get close enough to this, we'll be able to see trees grow. I'm very confused at why we're still able to use uh, water that shouldn't be allowing you to, but oh well. We just stand here. It will eventually grow one of these. There we go. 
As you can see, the gore effects are floating down. They land on the floor. And yeah. So, there's that. So, you may notice that the water is yellow. Uh, this video was also going to be covering water, but it became a bit uh, didn't fitting with the theme of this. So, I'll be covering the water when we cover biome generation and stuff because this is all related to biomes as you can see we've entered in a new biome once we get close enough to these you can see there's no background already so i'll be showing that in the future but until next time thank you everyone for watching if you have enjoyed these about well, this video be sure to give it a like uh follow me on twitter instagram stuff like that uh if you could support me on Patreon, that would be brilliant. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that the channel grows. I have many plans for the future. Uh, so hopefully you guys will be able to help out. Uh, so all links are in the description below. Source code is also available on GitHub. It also shows some of the stuff that uh, I haven't shown in the videos, as well as some edits I've done. Uh, or different stuff such as there's already a sound effect in the code which is this here it there so that would be in there uh, you can also try and work out how the biome water works and all the tree stuff and graphics are also available so thank you everyone for watching till the next one goodbye